Good morning, guys. We're going to do a brisket today. <clears throat> We're going to use uh, an injection. Um, use one cup of water with one spoon in this butcher. Um, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to use a little mojo. Uh, I'm going to strain it out. And then I'm going to use my BDI injector. Uh, I'll come back after I um, um, <clears throat> carve up that brisket and start doing an injection rub. All right. I got it all cut up um, to my liking. Um, I'll leave a little bit on the flat, you know, um, take most of it off the point side. Um, you know, in between here, between the flat and the point, as much as I can without taking it apart. <coughs> now we're going to go ahead and uh, get this rubbed up. Now, <coughs> I'm going to use uh, Killer Hogs AP rub and maybe hit it with a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. I'm not sure. See how it goes. So this is a uh, EP kill hogs. Hope you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. All right. So I'm gonna get in between this flap here. And we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna, um, like I said, I got the injection. The injection is a mixture of moho and um, and some beef brisket injection. Um, but butcher butcher. Butcher barbecue. I'll show that to you in a sec. Okay, this is a butcher barbecue. So I took a scoop of that <clears throat> with uh, just about a cup of water and uh, use some mojo. And then uh, the mojo, oops, I got a runaway there. Put it back in there, boy. <clears throat> The mojo was the first time using it. Thought about it. <clears throat> so why not savory? What I had to do though is I had to strain it with a strainer. It's got a lot of chunks of spices. So, so you wear. Kill a hogs BDI injector. So I got put this spoon in there. It goes and fills up. Gonna get this in there really good. Um, the VI injector is really good. Kill the hogs makes it. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. So I'll go ahead and uh, get this all done. And uh, I'll come back. I'm gonna let it rest for four hours actually. You know, so I can to retain some of this. You can just see this thing getting plumped up with this. It's just getting fattened up. Alright, we'll be back. Um, again, I'm going to let it rest. 
going to put it on WSM. So that's what we're looking like. Um, it's injected. Um, get the rub on. Now I'm just going to uh, go ahead and let it uh, let it uh, set for about four hours. All right, um, <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll get the cooker going, and I'll be back. All right, guys. Hey guys, hopefully you can see me. All right, it's me, John's Barbecue. Um, got the smoker going. Um, uh, I just wanted to show you what I'm working with as far as wood goes. <clears throat> we got um, two pecan, two cherry. Um, it's about all I'm going to use. Smoker's going. Uh, get up the temp, and then uh, <clears throat> get the brisket on. It's gonna be a long cook, so uh, we'll be back. All right. We're back. Putting the brisket on. John, uh, Manny John's barbecue. We're gonna take we're gonna take it off in about seven hours. Just walk around. It's beautiful. I'm gonna wrap it. The stall has been one hell of a hell of a stall. It, it's actually something I wanted to talk about. It was a stall, it was a, like a 10 degree stall, and um, it was like two hours to get past that 165 stall. So, I'm going to wrap it now. Let it go for a little while. I got a little taste in there. Alright, y'all. Yeah. Let you know. Thanks. Well, um, <clears throat> this is what's left. Um, it came off about three hours ago, and I let it rest, and it's really late. Uh, I would definitely cut into this thing now and bite it, but uh, I'm going to go get some rest. Um, but yeah, it came out really good. Um, I did take a little piece out of there, um, for a quick try. Uh, we'll do some slicing, but, uh, maybe, we, maybe I'll take some pics and post them later. Alright guys, it was a good cook.